tying down vehicles on trailers. I saw a trailer the other day and this fellow was driving down the road and he had a strap. It was that wide, like tiny, like it would be like two, three hundred kilo rated strap. And he was using that to tie his car on the car trailer. It ain't going to do nothing. The other problem here was he'd tied it, the body to the trailer. You always want the body to be able to move and flex and, and roll around. And the reason you don't tie the body of the vehicle to the trailer is it's going to move. It doesn't matter how tight you strap that body down, it's going to move like this, all right? And by moving like that, your straps, your chains are going to come loose and your load is not going to be secure. So let the body move on its suspension. What you do is you secure your axles. And the best way, in my opinion, to do that is to secure the tires or the wheels to the trailer. And when you do that, the, this is not the ideal way to do it, but unfortunately, I didn't have access to the equipment that I normally use. I have my own car trailer, this is it, and I have my own straps and they're set up the way I like it. In an ideal world, what you have is this set up like here, which is hugging the tire. And then we have a short strap from here, going forward and then going back. And that secures it. Now this achieves the same result. The, the problem is, whenever you put a strap onto itself like this, you really create a stress riser in the strap and it does minimize the strength of that strap. So that's why this isn't the ideal thing to do. Now here's my thinking as to why I've done this today with confidence that it's going to be suitable. The vehicle weighs a little over a ton and a half. It's a really light vehicle and I've got a strap like this on all four wheels. So that's what what does that work out at each strap has to control uh about 400 kilograms not much at all okay these are rated to 2500 kilos so even though i've compromised them here and asking them to secure about 400 kilos of of weight it's not much now that's talking static weight. Weight. We are in a kinetic environment or a movement environment where we're towing down the road and so on, and so they they will be subjected to greater loads than the 400 kilos because of that dynamic load that we're we're working with. Which brings me to my next point. I see people securing their vehicles so that the vehicle doesn't roll off the back of the trailer. Their thinking is, you know, when I accelerate, the, the load is going to roll off the back of the trailer. So they take all their straps and they tie it forward and they have a little bit tying it back. That's not what you're worried about. What you think you're driving some sort of drag car that accelerates that quickly that this isn't going to be able to stay with it? No, that's not what you're trying to achieve. You're tying it onto the trailer so that in an emergency braking situation, in a accident the load doesn't go forward it stays connected to the trailer that's your priority that's why you're securing it to this at the end of the day if you didn't you knew that you weren't going to have an accident you could leave it sitting on here on, on the handbrake and and in gear and it would stay on the trailer so so you're securing it for the braking applications the you know, emergency situations, the the rollover, for example, that's what you're securing it for. And so that's why you'll notice the way I've secured this to the best of the, the trailer's ability. This rope uh, strap here comes all the way from the front of the vehicle in a straight low line to the back of the trailer, back here. All right. And then this one, I've more or less got it as back as far on the trailer as I could. I wasn't happy to secure to this part of the trailer, so I've secured it there. And it's the same on the other side of the vehicle. So I'm confident, absolutely confident, in in a an extreme braking situation or even a situation where I, you know, the car hits a tree, this vehicle 
is going to stay on this trailer assuming that the straps don't break. Now, maybe if I hit a tree dead stop at 100 kilometers an hour, it would fail, but, but I'm thinking, you know, those lower level sort of accidents. Um, but I think, I think you can hear my heart and hear what I'm trying to get at is secure your loads properly. And I believe this is correctly secured. So if you are a professional like, um, and have comment and positive contribution to help us all understand this better or correct something that I'm saying in this video, I'd love you to comment down below. If you've learned something from what I've just been saying, um, comment down below as well and let us know what it was that you learned. You know, because everybody knows something but maybe you've um, just gone, geez, that, that was a trigger for me. So let us know down in the comments down below. I want to show you another little tip while we're talking about straps and securing loads. See how I've got my straps tight and tidy. The beauty of this is that's not going to come undone and I can just leave that sitting there. So it works really well. I thought I'll show you quickly how you do it. So there's my strap. It's not the quickest procedure, but um, with a little bit of practice, you get quite good at it. So roll, you just roll your strap up like that, okay? And when you get towards the, um, the end here, you take this piece and feed it up through the middle there, like this. See that, okay? Then feed this over that. See how I did that? and pull that tight. Give it a bit of a yank and that there is ready to go. It keeps your straps nice and tight. When I finish the load and pack these straps up, I will tie them all up like that. Now what I do on my own car trailer, because I always carry pretty much the same vehicles on my trailer, I have my four straps. I have two for the front, two for the back, and I can essentially leave them tied up like this and they're always the perfect length to do the job. But should I want just a little bit more strap so that I can, you know, tie a different car on the road or whatever, um, I can just pull off a little bit more, hook it back over. Now I've got more strap available to me. Oh, I don't want that much strap. Take that off. Just curl, curl it up, feed that up through, hook it over, job done. Gonna hit the road. I'm out of here. Woo!